Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the magical world of towels and towels really are magical when it comes to housework. This is as magical as it gets because you can fold them so easily. Unlike a shirt or God forbid a big sheet, it is so hard to get it into a perfect square, but not towels. Towels are just begging to be folded. Whether you're a housewife of decades or you're a bachelor or you just moved into your own dorm room, I guarantee you there are some tips in this video that will help you out. The first thing I'm going to talk about is how many types of towels one household could need. And many minimalists, they only own three types of towels and that would be the bath towel and then they have hand towels so they use the dish towel and the hand towel is the same and then they have rags. And even though it's not as convenient as using paper towels, rags are a lot more eco-friendly. And so I wanna go over some towel tips before I talk about how to pick the perfect towel. The first tip is to wash your towels in cold water. Cold water will make it, them last longer and stay more vibrant. And the second tip is not to use fabric softener. Oils and fabric softener go into the fabric of the towels and make them less absorbent. And the next tip I have is when you're choosing towels, you should always go for white first because you can accidentally bleach your towels, whether with benzoyl peroxide or just plain bleach if you do have it. And because a lot of bathrooms are small, white towels open it up. So if you have a really dark towel in a really small bathroom, it can feel really tight. So I try to get white towels or blue towels, it depends. If there's a lot of white in the room and it's pretty big like my kitchen, then I just get blue towels because I want a pop of color. I want to use the towels as decor so I don't have to use a lot of artwork. But generally speaking, I try to keep my towels light color so I can see when they're dirty. When it comes to my bath towels, I change them out every two or three times I use them. So three towels is enough for one person. So the first thing that you wanna do when you get your towel home is you, if you want to take off the, ta the tags, then you should take off the tags. And I have not taken off the tags off of almost all of my towels because they don't bother me. But these rags here have two tags on them, so I definitely wanna take off the tags because it's really annoying. <laughs> Here I just snipped off the tag and it's so much easier to fold, it doesn't get in the way. And when it's towel is this small, it makes more sense to snip off the, the tag because the tag makes up so much of the towel. If your towels ever start to smell, just dump vinegar inside of the washer and then it will there will be no more smell again. So I don't use dryer sheets either, I just use vinegar. If you want to make your towels whiter, then you use one cup of vinegar and a half a cup of baking soda in the washing machine and they'll get your towels clean and white again. The way the washing machine works, it gets most of the dirt off by itself without having to use any detergent. And so you really don't need a whole lot. You don't need something very strong. I, I try to use unscented as much as I can, especially with guests. It's really great to use unscented because some people have allergies. We go for plush, luxurious looking towels most of the time because when we go to hotels, we just love the way that they feel. And so we go out and buy the plumpest robe and the plumpest towels. But the problem is, is that these towels don't absorb water that well. The plumper the towel, the less water it will absorb. That's why when you go to the beach, you bring a nice thin towel and most of your house towels will be very thin because thin towels absorb water a lot better. But not only do they absorb water a lot better, but they also air dry a lot sooner. So the bacteria is not just sitting in the towel, making it grimy and making you have to wash your towels a lot because it starts to smell. The plumper the towel, the, the more likely you're gonna have to wash your towels separately because they'll be shedding on all of your other clothes. So the skinnier it is, the better. Now, here's the secret. If you really wanna get an absorbent towel, get a waffle weave towel. The little waffle scallops collect the water off of your body easily. So it makes drying a breeze and it dries instantaneously. It's kind of like having a microfiber cloth on your body. And so if you want the perfect towel, organic waffle weave towel, and you can't go wrong with that. The only reason why you might not want to get that is for two reasons. One, possibly cost. It can be a little bit more up there than a regular towel you can find at Target. But the second reason is you might like the feeling of a soft plump towel. So I've gone in the middle. I've had waffle weave towels and I've loved waffle weave towels. You saw my waffle weave towel in Norway, 
but I have something in the middle, which is from JCPenney. However, if you want functional, you can't go wrong with a waffle weave towel. When it comes to folding towels, the easiest thing to remember is the mathematical equation. If you're an analytical person, if you're a bachelor, you probably will have a better time with just remembering the number. What rags are used for is basically cleaning the kitchen without having to use a lot of paper towels, but also what I really love rags for is your toothbrush can get water everywhere and just mess up the container, mess up the sink, and this is the best solution. Just get an over-the-door hanger, lay out one or two rags, and then just put your toothbrush in there on top of it. And this is the best solution I found for toothbrushes. So that's why rags for me are an essential. And then the second type of towel that I have is microfiber towels. And you can actually use microfibers as rags. The rags I consider as something that's just disposable. I can abuse it, use it, do anything I want it, stain it, and I don't care. <laughs> microfiber towels I use mainly for using it as a bath mat and also using it to wipe down the sink after I'm done because it air dries instantaneously. So I prefer it for lighter jobs. But you can just use microfiber towels and get rid of the rags altogether. And how you fold the rags, or how I do, because I keep the rags in the kitchen, is I just fold them in half. And all towels, except for the biggest towel, are folded the long way. So you want it to be one long stretch, except for the biggest towel. And then he, from here, you can fold it in half again. So it's half, half. So it's two, two. That's the formula for it, 2Q. And the next towel is the microfiber towel. And how you fold this towel is you just fold it. So you, ha you start off the long way and then you always fold it the long way. So here you can see it's the long way. If you fold it like this, it'll be the short way and it'll be fat and that's not what you want. You're trying to get it into a nice, even, nice looking square. When it comes to the big towel, it's an exception, but all little towels you wanna fold it so it looks long like that and then you fold it into three. So two, three is the formula for microfiber towels. And that is also the formula for face towels. And you might say, wow, this is getting extensive. What in the world do you need a face towel for? Well, if you don't have sensitive skin, you can wash your skin with oil and nothing will happen. But if you have sensitive skin, you don't wanna be putting your face on top of your bath towel because you'll be rubbing your conditioner unless you wash every towel after you use it you'll be rubbing your conditioner into your face not only that but if you wear makeup frequently then you don't want to be rubbing your makeup onto your towel if your face wash didn't get everything off so face towels are great again you want to fold it the long way and this one's kind of a perfect square so there really isn't a long way but if there is a long way fold it into a long way and then threes so two three and you get it into a perfect rectangle like that and you can stack them microfiber towels and face towels and I keep them side by side you always want to store things wherever they make the most sense the dish towels you fold them the exact same way as you would fold a hand towel and that's because they hang just like a hand towel does you want them to be long like this so the formula is the same again you fold them the long way and these are easy to remember because these are really long <laughs> So there you have it. So you fold it the long way and then you fold it in half and then you can hold it. So it's two, two. That's this, that's the formula for hand towels and dish towels. And because they look so similar, you can really just, you can use one or the other. You don't need to have both. So you have it the long ways again, fold it into the long ways and then in half. So two, two, they are essentially the same. And the very last towel is the biggest towel. And this is the one that's the most fun to, to fold because look at how great it looks when it's done. You just feel like you've accomplished so much and it looks so great on your shelf. And so this one is the exception. You don't want to fold it the long ways because you're trying to get it into a little square. You're not trying to make it long. So you start off with one big towel like this. And like I said, you don't want to fold it the long ways like how we've been doing with every towel. You want to fold it the short way. So there. This is the only one. And once you fold it the short way, it's so easy from here. You just line it up as best as you can because if you don't line this one up, it will be poking out and it won't look good on the shelf. So line it up as best as you can and then fold it into threes. So it's two, three, two. That's the formula, two, three, two. And see, that's fine right there if it's poking out like this because as soon as you fold it over, boom, it looks nice. But what you don't want 
is for it to be too long and then you fold it over because then it will look really ugly like that. And make sure it's all in so that when you fold it over, it looks really nice. And that's how they fold it in the stores to make them look really plush. Some people roll up their towels so they'll go like this and they'll just roll, roll, roll to make it look like a spa, but it takes up a lot of space. So even though it looks nice, it's not very practical. So I like to keep my towels like this, but hey, whatever works. If you like the roll, do the roll. <laughs> so I hope that this towel video helped you to pick out a towel. If you're a bachelor and you're wondering what in the world, I don't know a dang thing about housework. I don't know a dang thing about the domesticated living. Or maybe you're a housewife, you've been doing this for years and you want to update your towels. Maybe this video can help you out. I hope you got a few good tips. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so that I can see you next Sunday.